Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Now I'm gonna show you a really, really cool method that costs absolute pennies and is very rapid and you don't need to bust out any hose or pressure washer to wash your car and it will be clean-ish <laughs> and it will also be shiny and protected and literally the cost will be pennies. So you probably, you might have a rough idea of where we're going with this. So we go down our channel of products here da -da 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 and we stop here. And now this is a waterless wash concentrate. And this is the McKees 914. Um, you could use ONR, you could use the Auto Glim, um, Auto Glim waterless wash. They all seem to work at the same concentration ratio, which is about one to 250. Um, so whatever waterless wash you got, use it, but just a pure one, no, nothing else in there really, just waterless wash. I've got five liters of water, to 20 mil of waterless wash, which is about, should be about, should be about one to 250, shouldn't it? Someone tell me, roughly. Yeah, I think it is. Because I know that you use 40 mil with around 10 liters, so that should be about right. Now, pay attention 007s. What we'll do is we just use this detail brush just to make sure it's all mixed up a little bit, just, just evenly distributed. Now you're probably looking at this car thinking, well, it's pretty clean. Um, if I just zoom you in, it's got like a little bit of road film on it from driving it and it's just got a little bit of dirt under it and all that sort of stuff. Uh, how dirty will I wash a car with waterless wash? Dip typically just to get dust and low dirt off the car. Now, the limitations of waterless wash, are wherever you don't make contact with, because you're not using a pressure washer, you don't clean. So if you don't get in those little crevices down there, if you don't go underneath that spoiler thing, if you don't go in there with a the brush, it doesn't get clean. You get no free cleaning like you do with the pressure washer. So if you waterless wash a car uh, just on its own, you know, you clean it off, the typical thing is you'll find bits that you've missed. <laughs> well, at least I do. Some of you are probably better than me. So that's the danger. So let's just put our wash mitt in. We're gonna use a Chanel here, yeah? Chanel's are particularly safe. There's something about this format. Um, now, if you're a real hardcore kind of guy, you could spray it in your waterless wash, but I don't tend to bother doing that. What I just tend to do is once I've got that waterless wash solution in there, car's got quite a lot of protection in it. You can see it busting off the surface. Is I'll just gently wipe over that panel with this Chanel mitt. You know, that's the dirty bit down here. Bust over that dirty bit. I'll just demo it on this side of the car. And I've done a section and I'll just take that, and just brush all the dirt out that's in there. And I'll brush underneath that little plastic bit there because I'll have missed that. And apart from that, that would be that, oh, you could all just brush in there as well. That just shifts all of that dirt off. Then you'd load up with a little bit more. You can use your bucket with a grit guard in there, but there's not enough really dirt in here to, to really worry about that. But sometimes there might be. Again, you just wipe over it gently, no pressure. If you're feeling all weird noises and it's all gritty, and you're pressuring in, then that's when you're gonna be scratching. But if you just light over the paintwork, generally you're gonna be okay. <coughs> I think of a waterless wash as just an alternative to a contact shampoo, that's it. Without having to sort of rinse all the suds off, you know, you can just buff the residue off. Um, so that's how I think of it. I don't think of a waterless wash as a pre-wash. I don't think waterless washes degrease at all well. Um, I'll test that at some later point on the channel. So they make pretty useless pre-washes. Um, and it defeats the object of using one, doesn't it? Or rinseless wash. I keep calling them waterless washes, but rinseless, I guess you get the idea. So there's quite a lot of dirt and dust down on that lower seal down here as well. So that's where you've got to be a little bit careful. Just really gentle. Just let that water go in and do the thing. Gentle over the paint. 
And that literally, you know, and I'm talking on camera as well, without the camera being there, I'd have done the side of that car in, Jesus, in next to nothing. And I'll just go along that top of that seal there with the brush. Just because there's some dust there. You don't see it when it's wet. It's when it dries, you, you, you'll see it. Just under there and around there. Just in the crevice. Okay. Done around the light there. Just make sure I do around there. I haven't really done that wing mirror. I should really do that, but it's pretty good. Now, imagine we just, we carry on and we do this all the way around the car. You could do your alloy wheels as well. The alloy wheels are a bit dirtier. So really you probably need wheel cleaner to do the alloys properly. So I'm just gonna leave my alloys. The whole purpose of this clean is that I can go back out and drive the car around again. It doesn't look like it's got bits of dirt on it everywhere. It looks like a really nice car from a sort of simple point of view. <laughs> but this is without putting the work in. Now, you get your drying towel and I'm gonna use Imran's um, Korean, you know, um, what's it called? Twisted loop. You, I'll put a link for it in the description. I'll put a link for the McKees and the, um, what's the other thing? Oh, anything I've used in this video, I'll stick in the description. Then you just take your drying towel. And again, this is important. You're not trying to, I'm not trying to buff the paintwork to a shine at this point. All I'm trying to do is, is just pick up all of the residue of the waterless wash or 99% of it. Yeah, just very gently. Make sure you get in that little crevice. Just pick it up. It's okay if there's a little wet film on the car, it's not a problem. Just pick up that water. And when the panel's wet, uh, and when the panel's, sorry, when the panel's protected, it wants to come away from the car, the water. So it just, it just soaks up into the towel really, really easily. So if I just move my camera here, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Look at this production quality. Amazing. Um, you can go in a bit harder on the glass. You can get the glass, you can give that a bit of a buff if you want. And just down here, we're just gonna pick it up. Okay. Okay, quickly John. So that's 99% of the standing water off of that car with no heavy buffing. Just letting the towel pick it up. Now here's the next cool bit. Now, take your built hamber QD. You probably do even, even less buffing than I did. Knock this down somewhere between one to 10 and one to 20, ignore that ratio, what it says there. Really one to 20 is what you should be using uh, for this purpose. But you could go one to 10, it's a bit Rambo-y, or somewhere in between, you get the idea. One to 20 really, with DI water as well, nice clean DI water, have a mist setting. And this is a, built hamber quick detail is a concentrate. So when you use it at one to 20, we're using, you know, about three or four mists or whatever, 10 mists. We're using about 2p. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe not 2p, maybe 5p. Who knows, let's be frivolous. But we're using nothing in terms of cost. So you just spritz a bit over the car. You can do all this outside as well. It's just nice to do it inside. And you can put quite a lot on because it's quite a low ratio. And if you've got any water left on there, it's just going to mix with it, okay? The reason I like to take most of that waterless wash off first before I put the detail spray on is because I just don't, I just want to. <laughs> Didn't explain it very well. But I'm gonna now take a Supersaurus towel, which is different to, to this, and then just buff it, okay? So I want this bone dry, just gently as well. You can flip whenever you feel like it. Just buff that out. 
No pressure though, that's the key thing. Just get sure you've got those little channels there. Yeah. Buff that out. As this towel gets wetter and wetter, you you know, you could probably do half a car with this, no problem, flip it, you know, etc. But when you start, especially on a black car, when you start getting a permanent film over there, it means the towel's wet and you're wetting the surface when you wipe it. So let's just say that's good enough. And you're done. And the cool thing about just putting that little bit of low concentrated quick detailer on is it, is it just puts a shine on the car. Just puts a nice shine on the car. And then it'll top up the protection a little bit. Not, not much, just a tiny little bit. But if you have no protection as well, it will help you just get that finish on there. Um, this is a really underrated product. It's also a rinseless wash in its own right at one to 20. So you could use it as a rinseless, but I've just not tested it that way. And I, I sort of prefer the, prefer these pure kind of rinseless where this is a, definitely leaves stuff behind this and material in there, QD type stuff, you know, whereas this is more of a pure rinseless. So that's a really good way to wash a car. Really good, good way, it gets your glass clean, gets your panels shiny. If there's dirt still left on there, it's nothing to do with the products, it's to do with you just missing it, which happens, and you can just go back if you missed a bit, find it, clean it, dry it, and work your way around the car. And I promise you, if you're not filming and not waffling away, talking, you can do the car in like five minutes. And then when you finish washing the car, you haven't got this equipment to put away, and the car, I promise you, will be clean. You know, like all this can be clean if you go in and clean it. You know, the paintwork can all be clean. Everything can be clean. But if it isn't, it's down to you more than the product. Do not think that this is replacing the normal wash method. Hell no. Because when you cover a car in pre-wash, especially when there's tons of road film on it in the winter and all of that sort of stuff, you know, it loosens it all off and you jet washer it. The jet washer gets into all the gaps in the scuttle. You blast off your wheels. You blast everything off with detergent. And it really, you know, there is no... That is the way to wash your car properly. But you can't do that all the time. And it's those in-between things. And you can really, like, with this little quick, like, rinseless method, you can really keep your car looking good all summer um, so you could wash it one month and you, you know, like say the start of the month and then three days later when it's in the garage and you've just driven it and it's covered in, in little road films and stuff, you could just do this little waterless wash wipe down and you could do the same for a couple of weeks and then maybe, you know, next month you think, right, well, it's time to give it a proper clean now, do a deep clean with all the water. The other cool thing about this method is that you can just leave this here because it gets it doesn't get really all that dirty you know it will build up bits and you could just keep doing that little thing if you don't want to do the quick detail thing so you like take your car out to work you drive it back in in the evening and this is just sitting here and you just quickly go over it clean off all the the light road film and just dry it and you're done but that little built hamber spray down thing really works a treat if you want to be even more lazy after you've waterless washed the panels like I say, you can mist the built hamber on top and buff it all to a shine then to save double buffing it, if you like, you know, dry, drying it and then spray and buffing it. So it's up to you, really. I just, I don't know, I just kind of like to do that. I like to do that. <laughs> just the little safety net thing. So that's my waterless wash, kind of quick wash method. And uh, I, I'll use that a lot in the summer, I think. Um, Definitely less fussy. As I get older, I'm getting less fussy about the car, you know, less fussy about it. Just enjoy the car. It doesn't have to be like perfect, you know. But this is generally, you know, look, it's clean in here. It's clean in here. I did that other video about how you can keep the interior clean with just like, literally just like a bottle of that wash mist or whatever you want to keep in there. It's a microfiber towel, so you keep all that clean. I have my little flex hoover so that 
I keep on top of the dirt in there. And that way I never really have to sort of like come to, come a weekend when you want to do stuff with the family or just have some fun. I don't have to think, oh, I've got to spend three hours cleaning out a filthy car. I just keep it clean and then you never really have to spend that long. So you get the idea. Let me know if you've got any little sort of alternative wash methods where you just do something very quickly as opposed to your normal full wash. And what is that alternative wash method? What does it look like for you? What does it, how much does it cost? What materials do you use? Do you have loads of stuff to wash up? How much water do you use? All that sort of stuff. But that, honestly, it's a really good little quick wash method. The, the, the misconception is that the waterless wash isn't safe, um, but it's really effective. No, the danger, it's safe, but the danger is it might not be effective if you don't go everywhere and actually make contact with it and move things around with the correct sort of stuff. You know, nice soft pads and soft brushes is a good way to do that. Um, so that's the, the thing about it. Um, can you scratch your car with the waterless wash? Yeah, I think if you were going in with, on, with more heavy dirt films and pressure and you're wiping it down, you know, and cleaning it and you miss bits and then you go and buff with the towel, on, on dry dirt, you know, you're gonna, you, the, the risks are there, but it's down to you. Doing what I just did, where you, you've got loads of protection on the car already, and it's all nice and slick, and just wash the solution over it and break any of that loose dirt off it, get in all the crevices, gently towel dry it, cover it with the QD, and the QD happens to also, you know, the built hammer QD happens to also be one of those it's called charged particle, they call it, you know, but it's for rinseless. So it's like the Switter ionic surfactant that's supposed to help reduce miring. Um, yeah, which probably does, who knows. But all I know is from what I've just done there, you can get any light source on this, on this thing, you know, and go, come in on my paint. And my paint is not covered in swirls because of what I've just done, you know. <laughs> it's no difference, really. But like I say, in the winter, when it's wet conditions and you're picking up loads of road film, probably less suitable, but in the summer, absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I've enjoyed that. And uh, I've got a clean car for no effort. Half a clean car for a quarter aside. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, I'll see you later.